Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's December 1st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update as we count down to the end of 2023. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here. Hey, uh, a lot of headlines about Muni performance in the month of November. Why were they, uh, why were they making news? Uh, so this week, it was another strong week and it ended the month of November, which was the strongest month for municipal performance since 1982. So it's been a while since we've had this type of performance. It ended up with a 6.3 monthly um, some monthly data there. So I think the holders of munis are pretty uh, happy with the way the month turned out. And certainly the uh, the move in interest rates uh, for munis, at least, was really clustered at the back end of the month. You know, it, was a, it was a more steady rally uh, for treasuries, but munis really caught up as, as we went into December 1st. That, that's right. I mean, even this week, the market was pretty focused on a handful of deals that were out there. You know, Illinois Geo came in a competitive space that the market was very focused on. The The state of Illinois saw yields they have not seen in the last several years, very tight, very well received. Uh, so I think that they were happy with that. And we saw that tone across a number of deals that happened this week and throughout the month. And certainly a combination there of fundamental improvements in Illinois' uh, overall credit standing, as well as uh, the market conditions that, that, that fire demand there. That's right. Uh, on the technical side, we saw uh, inflows, third consecutive week of inflows uh, to mutual bond, uh, municipal bond mutual funds, still relatively uh, light inflows overall, given the scope of the rally, though. Uh, any uh, indication of how that's impacting uh, technicals? I mean, I mean, it is light, as you mentioned, relative, but I think that that's helping the performance. You know, the, the deals that are coming um, are getting eaten up by investors and nothing is really getting hung up unless there is a credit story behind that. So I think the market is pretty comfortable and pretty happy with the way things are going right now. Right. So in the new issue market, we're in that countdown to the end of the year. Certainly this week was an active week. The next two are expected to be active uh, before people start kind of winding things down into the holidays at the end of the uh, at the end of the year. Uh, let's look back at this week. Uh, what what uh, deal stood out to you? So, so BAM had a standard week there for us. We had around 20 series of uh, bonds priced with 230 million, 235 million of insured par. Diverse mix of business uh, up and down the uh, all across the nation. A couple of deals to highlight were an Inman Campobello Water District in South Carolina. That was a $60 million transaction with R.W. Baird. Then there was a Palmdale School District CFD transaction with Ramirez and Company. That was a $26 million negotiated transaction. And certainly uh, Inman Campobello, a couple of things to highlight there. We do have a BAM Credit Insights video about that transaction. It's for a new clean water supply for that water district. It's in Spartanburg County in uh, northwestern South Carolina. And that was a BAM Green Star transaction, a, a verified green bond under the ICMA green bond principle. So I'll uh, learn more at the BAM's uh, YouTube site about that transaction. Looking ahead next week, what uh, what's on your calendar? Next week, the, the calendar total is around $9 billion. Um, We have a lot of larger issuers uh, on the state side. Uh, state of Hawaii is coming. We have the New York City Transitional Finance Authority. Um, so a lot of chunkier deals on the large, uh, more liquid issuer side. Um, the, the market will also be looking for the jobs data that will come out next Friday. Um, so I think the market will be ready to see uh, what happens there and what that indicates for the economy. Sounds good. And we will be recording our next BAM weekly video right after the jobs report comes out. So we'll have that data when we talk about it then. Thanks for your time this week, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.